in three, two, one, hit it. The candidates. Former Vice President Joe Biden. Elizabeth Warren. Senator Bernie Sanders. Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. I want to bring in Congresswoman Gabbard. Congresswoman Gabbard, you took issue with Senator Harris confronting Vice President Biden at the last debate. You called it a, quote, false accusation that Joe Biden is a racist. What's your response? I want to bring the conversation back to the broken criminal justice system that is disproportionately negatively impacting black and brown people all across this country today. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. You're also gonna do third party again. And I'm not making any predictions, but I think they've got their eye on somebody who's currently in the Democratic <laughs> primary and are grooming her to be the third party candidate. Mm -hmm. She's the favorite of the Russians. They have a bunch of sites and bots and other ways of supporting her mm -hmm. so far. And that's assuming Jill Stein will give it up, which she might not, because she's also a Russian right. uh, asset. Yeah. yeah, she's a Russian asset. I mean, totally. And so they know they can't win without a third party candidate. And so I don't know who it's going to be, but I will guarantee you they'll have a vigorous third party challenge in the key states that they most need it. <laughs> You have criticized Hillary Clinton as the, quote, personification of the rot that has sickened the Democratic Party. What is the rot you see in the Democratic Party? That our Democratic Party, unfortunately, is not the party that is of, by, and for the people. It's a, it is a party that has been and continues to be influenced by the foreign policy establishment in Washington, represented by Hillary Clinton and others' foreign policy, by the military-industrial complex and other greedy corporate interests. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Krishna.